Toolbar 2000 can be a little complicated to set up, so I'm going to go through a basic example of how to configure it and set it up. This is the website, so you can download Foobar 2000, and once it's done downloading, you'll have two options in the install. You can see the standard install, which is probably what you typically use. I'm going to use the portable because in my case, I don't want the configuration to conflict with what I already have. And I use Dropbox for all portable installations. Makes it a lot easier. You'll see some features here. I just leave them all enabled because it's such a small install anyway, less than nine meg. So then we install and run. The default is pretty minimal and all white. So the layout options are just different configurations that they have predefined that you can use. I prefer the very top one and then all the colors you can pick through a bunch of them. I go with blue and then you can change the playlist layout which is simply the set of columns that are used but I prefer the default. So once you've got this here I'm going to configure the media library and that simply means going to a particular folder and adding it just for the essence of time. I don't want to do the entire media so it loads up quickly. And the key to changing the layout is going to view, layout, and then enable layout editing mode. So that lets you change different components by right clicking on them. So you'll see here I've got metadata and then over here I've got location and general. So what I like to do is to right click on this and add metadata over here. So now we've got the same meaning we don't need this anymore, and I replace the UI element and use an album art viewer instead. So that lets me see the album art, and if we go over here, we'll see the album art showing up on the left, and then the metadata and all the rest of the properties over here on the, the right portion. You can change things like uh, when it starts to play, you'll see this, this monitor here, and instead of having it like this, I prefer to drag it over on the right. And then this shows you where you are on the track, but it kind of squishes down the volume. So you can just drag things around. If you don't want it to use as much or little room, you can, you can kind of adjust it. And there's all sorts of different things you can replace them with. You can kind of browse through. Here's visualization. They all have categories. So that's a quick summary of how to get things looking good and then knowing how to change them in the future. Oh, and do remember to turn off the layout editing mode so that when you right click you can actually do the normal operations instead of layout. So that's it.